Hello and welcome to Rich King Retro. Here's my another video of car boot bargains at the weekend. Everyone knows it was really sunny in the UK, so I went car booting, went to six car boots and picked up all this lot. Start from left to right. Picked up a caveman, that was like 50p. And picked up an Acon Electron, it was a tenner. I've got one already, but I needed some of the games like chess, hopper, boxer. It's a tape deck. Some books to go with it. Then I picked up a master system. It's basically twenty pound. I think it's about twenty master system games, a master system two, a box gun, and an extra gun. So I picked up cool spot. Lemmings, James Pond 2, Desert Speed Trap, Ghostbusters, Wimbledon, Rescue Mission, Outrun Europa, quality game. Alex the Kid, Lost Stars, Double Dragon, Speedball, some random games, Operation Wolf, Batman Returns, Sonic 2, Casual Illusions. My favourite game on the Mars system, Lucky Darn Keeper, Donald Duck, so hard. Indiana Jones, Flintstone, Super Tennis, Paperboy, Crossy's Fun House, the most common I would say Mars system game you see. Prince of Persia, the Mars system 2, Box Mars system, comes with all the inserts and a gun and that's an extra gun to go on top. Went to the next car boot and picked up 22 Mega Drive games. £20 really. My games worn, aquatic games. I've never seen that aquatic games. That must be like the Genesis version. Mortal Kombat. John Madden Football. 93. I needed that one. I think that's Techno Clash. Sonic. Space Harrier 2. Jack Nicholson Pro Challenge. FIFA. Toe Jam and L. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's what I remember from that game. Rugby, World Cup, Eternal Champions, Castle Illusions, Quackshot, Combat Cars, which I used to love, NBA Jam, I think that must be Tournament Edition, Alien 3, Rolo to the Rescue, Micro Machines, Lemmings, Spider-Man, Arch Rivals, I think the most underrated base, um, basketball game, Biohazard Battle and Predator 2. Picked up a what for 20 quid. Picked up a PlayStation. It was 8 quid with lots of games. It's got one of those kind of like um, password cards that goes in the back. A couple of controllers. Came up with quite a lot of random books as well. Hints and cheap books for various magazines. Like a random Desert Strike. I think that might be for the Mega Drive. That one. Cheat Solutions Complete. And they got like a Final Fantasy random, Final Fantasy um, 7, unofficial guide, World 9, Soul Reaver, Central Collection. Then there's some more Final Fantasy 7, the complete solutions. Miss Bear's Final Fantasies, <laughs> Final Fantasy 7 and 8, guide. Picked up some Sam um, Sega Saturn games, 4 quid. Nothing special. It was four pound for all those games. Picked up two Saturn controllers as well. There was a power adapter, link cable, and a scart socket, which was definitely worth four pound. There was this Virtual Cop two book. Picked up a Game Gear that was like basically three quid for the Game Gear and like three pound for all the games. It's all there. Actually works. Sound. Everything. Picked up a little TV adapter as well. Picked up Sonic, Hedgehog Boxed. What is that one? Factory Panic. Solitaire. Picked up a sealed drop zone. I guess it's just the top that's been opened, so it's not quite sealed. The McDonald's game you always find. And I picked up Banjo Kazooie, that was three quid. Mario All Stars, I paid three pounds each, that's basically. Just enough to sell online or to get rid of. Doom. 
mischief makers, box complete, tonic trouble as well. Also picked up two box PS1s. One was a tenner, one was three quid. I normally I normally spend five to sort of like six, five, six, seven, eight pound on each one, so you know, like fourteen quid or thirteen quid just for two, it was okay. The PS one I got over there is chipped. So I've got like Parasite Eve, some random games. Normally I don't bother, but because there's loads of stuff with it. Also, there was loads of demos as well that came with it for eight quid. Got like Tombury, the Metal Gear Solid, Station Eleven demos, Gran Turismo, another Metal Gear, Populous the Beginning, Driver, best horror games ever. I think that is probably the best demo. If you can see, he's got Resident Evil, Silent Hill. Quake, Nightmare Creatures, Doom, Carmageddon, Soul Reaver, Death Child Drun Dungeon, Exhume, and Dino Crisis, all demos. So that was a good demo to find. Another Metal Gear, Tucker, the most commonest demo, I would say, that one. Demo of a rib Ribbon one. Station 9, Spyro the Dragon, Colin McRae Rally 2. Picked up some PS1 games, 50p or a pound each. Duke Nukem, Crash Bandicoot, Pandemonium Platinum, which I needed. I already had a normal one. Gex, Gex 3D, Land Before Time, Big Water Adventure, Mecha 2, which is quality. Truck Mania, Colony Wars, which I really enjoyed. Also picked up a box memory card. Picked up Point Blank and the gun. The guy had the gun for like £8, but they didn't have the game in, so I just offered him three quid for it, and it was like, yeah, next car boot I went to, and there was point blank for a pound, so I picked it up. PlayStation 2 um, network adapter, case for the Game Boys, box black GameCube. Well, I picked up the GameCube for three quid, and I saw a guy walking around in the next car boot with this box. So he had like loads of Lego in it. I was like, mate, I'll give you a quid for the box. So he sold it for a quid. So I able to put a box. A couple of guns. One for the Mega Drive. Leaf One Forces, I guess that goes with. Konami one. Paid £3 for that gun and £2 for the other one. Picked up um, these two Game Cubes. £5 for a purple one and a silver one. But they both came with no controllers, and they've only got the power and the RF lead for one of them. Picked up a Predator gun for the PS1. Picked up some PS2 games. Mid Midway Arcade Treasures 1. Unreal Championship for the Xbox. And Legends 2. So in all, I spent about £100 on all the stuff. Good weekend. Yeah, I also pick up some board games as well. Talisman Games Workshop. So that's it for another week.